When I was like 17 to 20, I'd kind of just like come into the gym and be like, oh, like, what do I want to hit today? It's not a race, it's a full marathon. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. When you guys are from Ohio, can one of you guys explain me like what is happening? Literally two days ago, I was out here, I filmed a video, it was like 80 degrees out. And now, casually two days later, it's winter. I'm a real one, I'm out here filming a video for you guys in this 30 degree weather. We are 13 days out from my show. But yeah guys, I'm really excited for the show. I'm really excited just to like showcase what I got. Um, I took these two pictures today. And my coach said that we're there, the shreds are there, the weight is perfect. I'm like a little, I'm like right at like 160 pounds right now. Should, st should step on stage about 160. I'm um, six one and a half, well with, with shoes on I'm six two, but I'm six one and a half on a normal day. But yeah guys, this YouTube video, I just wanted to set up the camera and talk about some of the biggest mistakes that I made in my fitness journey. I've been lifting weights now since I was 17 and I'm 22 years old now, it's pretty crazy. Five years of weight training. Genuinely have so much fun working out and generally just love the process of working out. I'm so happy to be able to just share my love for fitness with you guys. And I'm gonna walk you guys through a workout that I filmed a couple days ago and I'm gonna go through my fitness journey and tell you guys what I would change if I could go back and do it all over again. Yo, what's up guys? Hopefully you guys can see me okay. Today's video, we're gonna talk about my fitness journey and if I could go back, what I would and wouldn't do, what I'd do differently, what I'd do the same. All right guys, so I started working out in 2017. I was 17 years old, I was a junior in high school. Reason why I got made fun of, I was literally like such a small child growing up. I was like, always like weirdly tall in my friend group and like in sports and stuff, but I was just like that lengthy stream bean. Um, fun fact, most of my coaches growing up called me toothpick and that hurt the soul a little bit, but built the motivation. See, I'll pop up a couple pictures real quick. This is how I used to look. So yeah, that's how I looked in, in high school. It got even worse because I grew to 6'2", and I was still like, oh, my nose is running a little cold out here. But I grew to 6'2", and I was still like 110 pounds. So like walking down the hallway, I looked like an absolute like, giraffe or something because like I was so skinny but I was so long that like yeah so that's kind of like how I started working out um one day I was literally just on Instagram a David Laid picture popped up it was like a transformation where he was like super skinny just how I was at that time I need to get in the gym I need to like figure out something I need to figure out some sort of way that I can somehow look like that yeah base of the story is I caught the fitness bug um really hard I started working out in uh, 2017 and I started putting on like noticeable gains like really fast. I went from this to this in like two months. Which like blew my mind that I was able to put on that much muscle that fast. And I'll tell you why, the reason why I was able to put on muscle very fast is because I genuinely loved working out and I fell in love with the process. I was literally like sitting in class or like summer like trying to fall asleep and like I was literally thinking about oh my god like I can't wait to go to the gym tomorrow I can't wait I can't wait that's when I started making some mistakes all right so the biggest mistake that I made in the beginning um, was definitely overtraining. I would be in the gym for like two and a half hours and I always thought that more was more and it's just not you have to understand that like when you're in the gym you're breaking down your muscles so if you're just breaking down the muscle over and over again, then not giving it time to heal, rest up, recover, then going back in the gym, just tearing the muscle over and over, your muscles aren't actually growing. You're literally, they don't, have, they don't have enough time to grow. So that was the biggest mistake I made was I was constantly just coming in the gym thinking more is more. And I'd be in the gym for like two and a half hours with my friends, like kind of training serious, kind of just like being in there hanging out. So if I could go back and change one thing, I would change being in the gym for that long and get the mindset that less is more. Um, I would rather have three intense sets on an exercise than to have eight just like BS sets in my opinion. All right, next mistake that I made, which actually played off in my favor and I'll explain why, was I dirty bulked. When I was in high school, I wanted to basically get as big as possible my senior year. I think I got up to like 180 pounds but it wasn't good weight. I put on a lot of fluff. My abs were just like completely gone. You guys aren't gonna believe me, but I'll pop up some pictures. As you can see, my abs are completely gone. It's because I was literally just like in the my process of like calories, 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 rather than like macros, AKA protein, carbs, and fats. 
I was literally just like looking at like a bar, or looking at peanut butter and jellies, looking at like every single food possible. And be like, oh my God, this is 500 calories. I'm gonna get big and strong from this. I would literally go to like McDonald's, get shakes. I'd go steak and shake and get shakes all the time. So I made a huge mistake of getting a little fluffy and not putting on as much muscle, thinking I had a lot of muscle, but I really just had a lot of fat over my muscle. But if I could go back, I wouldn't change this because it kind of like built my foundation. And when I did my first ever cut for my first show, I did have a lot of, not a lot, I had a decent amount of muscle underneath. And I'm not sure if I wouldn't have dirty balked and wouldn't have gotten to the size that I was. I don't think I would have had like the same physique that I have now. So I feel like if I could go back, I probably wouldn't have done that. I would have clean balked. I would have made sure that I was eating clean carbs, clean foods, and making sure my protein was up to a good amount. Cause that's another thing I was doing is I was eating so much food, but I really wasn't eating that much protein. I was literally just like, calories, 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 that's all that matters. So if I could go back, I would focus on getting a good amount of calories and obviously because I was skinny, so I needed to bulk up, but I would have done it the clean way to where I'd been putting on muscle. Obviously a little bit of body fat because I was in such a calorie surplus, but it would have been just a lot, lot more cleaner than what it was. All right, so next thing I did, next mistake that I made is I basically did like a keto diet. It was after my first year in college and I was just kind of like obsessed with like being like decently lean. So I played college basketball. I don't know if you guys do that, but I played two years of college basketball at Pasco Hernando State College. Here's a pick. <laughs> See, I was a hooper all my life. That was actually one of the reasons why I started lifting weights was for hooping because I wanted to put on some size um, to be able to play college. Um, but anyway, um, after my first year, I got pretty lean, just some so much running. Um, you know, we were playing like three games a week. So I got pretty lean. And then all that summer, I was just like obsessed with like staying lean. Obviously I wasn't out like running every single day like I was in basketball season. So one thing I did is I just like got in my mind that like carbs are horrible for you. So I basically stayed away from carbs, which was in my opinion, like one of the worst things I ever did. I got super shredded. This is how I looked. But I was basically losing muscle. And I remember that whole summer, I literally had like so much like like I just had no knowledge on like lifting and putting on muscle and like bodybuilding. And I'd ask myself, like I'm eating all this protein, like why am I not putting on muscle? Like why am I not getting stronger? That was the biggest thing is that like my lifting numbers, like all the dumbbells, like all, everything just felt like heavy. Like nothing was ever like, like feeling lighter than it did like, or yeah, feeling lighter than it did the week before. It's because I was not eating enough carbs actually refueling myself. So I was basically like starving myself even worse than I am like on a bodybuilder diet right now. So basically I like just had in my mind that carbs are bad, carbs are sugar, carbs are all this. And I didn't like process that there's a thing called clean carbs, like rice, potatoes, um, oatmeal, like even some fruits like blueberries. I have blueberries in my prep. So it really just depends on like what carbs you're getting, um, if you wanna say they're good or bad, but you guys need carbs. Cause if you're just having protein, then your body's not gonna be refueling that muscle. That muscle needs carbs and you're just gonna be low energy all the time. It's just not worth it. Like even now on my bodybuilder diet, um, I'm still eating like a hundred carbs a day just because I need it. I need it around training. I need it to be able to edit my videos. Like I need it. If I don't have like any carbs like I was that summer, you're just like exhausted all the time. So if I could go back, I would just do a clean bulk, clean carbs. Obviously every once in a while, like have something bad. Even at that time, I was still having like something bad every once in a while. But like, for example, my meals would just be like chicken and veggies and no carbs with that. I like genuinely thought that carbs are bad and carbs are not bad. Carbs are your friends. <gasps> Another big mistake is not having a lifting schedule. And a lot of you guys might come at me when I say this, but I have been running push, pull legs, push, pull legs for the last like year and a half and it just works so well for me. So in my opinion, there's no point to change it. A lot of people don't like push pull legs and they say it's a very bro split, but it's done me very good and I've made a bunch of gains off of it. But I will say that just because I have a workout split doesn't mean I'm coming in with like an exact plan. I like to like kind of be like a little like all over the place when I'm in the gym. Like if I'm hitting, like usually when I'm like walking in the gym, I have an idea of what I'm going to hit, how I'm gonna train but I don't exactly know like the order everything's gonna be into. I don't exactly know like the reps and everything. I kind of just like go by feel. And I feel like that's kind of key for the muscle is like you gotta be like shocking the muscle. Either progressive overloading one day going heavier than you did last week or progressive overloading as in more reps, maybe a drop set or something. So I do push pull legs, push pull legs. 
but I always have like a set plan, but I'm always changing everything up every single week. And that's something I never did uh, when I was like 17 to 20. I'd kind of just like come into the gym, like, oh, like, what do I want to hit today? And that is one of the worst things that you guys can do. But yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much like all the mistakes I've made. Obviously, like I'm only five years in lifting, so I'm still making like mistakes probably every single day. But those are without a doubt like the top three to four biggest mistakes that I made that I still see like people like in my gym making all the time, like same mistakes that I made. But it's something that like, kind of like people just have to like learn on their own. Something like fitness journey is, it's not a race, it's a full marathon. So every single day you're gonna be learning, you know, new exercises, new ways to challenge your body, diets that work for you, exercises that work for you. Everyone's body's different. So those are just personally some mistakes that I made in my fitness journey so far. All right, guys, and to finish this video, um, I'm gonna walk you guys through a little um, pull workout. I trained some back and biceps. I think it was two days ago. Um, had some of my boys film it for me. And so yeah, we're gonna walk you guys through that, kind of just like show you what my back days are looking right now, um, being like two weeks out from a show and back being my worst muscle group. That's where I have to lock in the most. So yeah. Let's walk through this back workout real quick. Freaking love you guys. All right, guys, we're gonna change spots up a little bit. Log into the computer. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, guys, so first thing that we are doing is we're gonna do some pull-ups. This is kind of just like the warm-up that I do. Also, peep this Gymshark hoodie. This Gymshark hoodie is so clean. Just came out a couple weeks ago, so you guys wanna check that out. Code Hayden, support your boy, love you guys. And also, this Gymshark I have underneath is from like 2017. It's actually the first Gymshark item that I ever got. I didn't tell it's all worn out. But yeah, we did about three sets of pull-ups and now we're getting into some rows. Um, I did Smith Machine rows just to change things up. I usually would do barbell rows, but Smith Machine rows are just feeling really good and keeping the reps pretty high on these, trying to go around like 10 to 12 reps. So yeah, really feeling, feeling really good. The OG, OG Gymshark tank. Um, I think I did like three sets, three to four sets, um, about 10 to 12 reps. Like I said, I'm not really trying to like break down the muscle right now. I'm really trying to exhaust the muscle being two weeks out from my show. A little back check. Um, and now we're on to lat pull downs. And I remember I actually did these pretty heavy. I had my boy Ethan with me. Ethan's always pushing me to go higher in weight. So I went pretty, um, tried to at least keep my strength there. Just like I said, being two weeks out from a show you know, strength and everything is kind of like naturally going to go down. But um, I think pretty sure just my last set pretty much just banged out some good reps. Um, lat pull down is really one of those exercises I have a really good mind muscle connection with. So right now it's not about going super heavy. It's about, you know, obviously doing a heavy weight. I don't want to do like a super lightweight, but just doing a weight that feels good that I'm failing at about 10 to 12 reps. So actually this was the drop set. As you can see, I'm letting it stretch all the way to the top and then going down. And like I said, failing around like 10 to 12. Next, we went into single arm dumbbell rows, which I usually either love or don't love. And I don't know, I've been feeling really good. This like off season, even this prep, I've been doing single arm rows um, at least once a week. So we're doing them here. I think I just went 70s. I didn't want to go like too heavy on them. I did three sets, 10 to 12 reps each side. Like I said, once I get off prep, once I have some good carbs, once a lot of good food in me, um, I'll definitely start like, going a lot heavier on those. Um, we did some curls just to warm up. I really just want to do about two sets just to warm up. And then we did end up failing because it was the end of the workout. Well, it was like middle to the end workout. And I was like, oh man, even right there, I was like, oh, like this, this prep is killing me, guys. But yeah, I'm feeling really good, guys. I'm 13 days out from my show. And I'm feeling very full still, which is really nice. My last show, I just had like no fullness. I literally just felt like a skeleton on my last prep. But feeling good, I was saying there, I started to see stars, but we got through this workout, don't worry. And then here is a um, single arm curl. I don't exactly know what this is called, but this is becoming one of my favorite exercises. And it's something that you don't need a lot of weight with that it'll actually kill you going light on it. I think I had like 20, 25 pounds on. And as you can see, that's like rep seven, rep eight, and I literally failed. So we're pushing like eight to 10 um, each arm. I tried to get another one there, just no chance. And then to the other side, um, actually fun fact, the guy in the blue behind me is my bodybuilding coach, Sean. That's actually kind of hyped that he's in this. He's kind of camera shy. I thought about bringing him on, um, maybe in a video or something, maybe next week or the week after that, we'll bring him on. Or if he ends up, I'm going to my show in Pittsburgh, you guys will definitely see him. And then last but not least, um, we just want to do, um, some straight arm pullovers just because this exercise, I have a really good mind muscle connection with. And there's Ethan and my other boy. I had to show some love to the boys. 
And that's the whole workout, guys. Back is just definitely my weakness. So I'm trying to try my best to really bring my back up and make sure my back is coming in for this show. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support. This prep has definitely been a lot more challenging than my last prep. I don't know what it is, but I feel like, you know, this prep's just been a lot tougher than the last prep. But I know that's all going to pay off. You know, I, I know that on April 30th, I'm going to bring a very, very improved package than I did in December. And that's all that matters, guys. You have no other competition but yourself. As long as you're waking up better than the person you were yesterday, that is all that matters. But I'm just really excited just to get on stage and just show the judges um, how much I've improved, especially my back. So I'm just excited to get, get up on stage and just show a whole new package and a lot more fuller package. Like I said, I'm like 10 pounds up from my last show. Just show a lot more fullness on stage, which I'm just super excited for. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I appreciate all the YouTube support, guys. I think we're at like almost 30K subs. We just hit 10K subs like a month or two ago. So that's just so crazy. And yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for, you know, following along this YouTube journey. I'll have all my links down below and I'll see you guys here in a couple of days for a new YouTube video. See you guys.